So hello everybody, I'm Dr. Vivek Singh, Director of Pulmonology and Lung Transplant at Medanta the Medicity Gurgaon. And today we'll be talking about the harmful effects of air pollution on the health of individuals. Air pollution is really becoming a big problem um, throughout the world and particularly in India and in certain cities like the Delhi and Sia. Now, various pollutants are there like you would have known uh, by various names like the PM2.5, PM10 and the noxious gases. They are very harmful to the lungs and the respiratory tract. They may be responsible for causing various diseases like allergic lung disorders, COPD and even lung cancer. Uh, unluckily, air pollution is something which has to be tackled on a wall footing because air is a continuum, you know, unlike other things, we cannot be in silos with air. So, you, you know, you have a problem with water, you put a RO at home and you use a purified water. But uh, if you have an air purifier at home and then you walk out of your home for some work or going to the market, you're going to breathe in the pollutant and that's going to cause the harm to your lungs. Um, we have to tackle the lung, uh, this pollution on a, on a social ground, on a war footing. Pollutant air is, is very, very harmful to the lungs. Uh, one is that the effect is many fold because we are breathing continuously. There is no interruption on breathing. So whatever is in the air, we're going to breathe in and that's going to, some of them is going to reach down to the lungs and cause damage. As I said that uh, it can, it can range, the effect can range from very mild effects like allergies and, and some breathing difficulties. But it can also cause long-standing and crippling lung diseases like COPD and even lung cancer. The effect is really exaggerated in, in people who have existing lung diseases because their underlying disease gets worsened with this quality of air and they may require higher medications or frequent hospitalization into the hospital because of breathing difficulty. And it's not only the, the, the ill which are affected, even you know the young children, the elderly who have their immune mechanisms compromised, they are equally affected by these uh, effects of the polluted air. Black patches on the lungs, they are basically a deposition of the pollutant within the lung parenchyma or the lung itself. And so when we talk of uh, the air pollutants or the, uh, you know, we divide them into, according to the particle size, we would divide them into different uh, types. And one is what is called as the respirable uh, pollutants or the respirant, uh, respirable particles. So bigger particles are, are filtered out by the nose. They don't tend to get into the lungs. Very small particles will be suspended in there, but something between, you know, the, the medium sized particles, they, they'll, they'll escape the uh, clearance mechanism from the nose and the upper tract and they get down into the lungs and they are not, the lung clearance mechanisms is not able to clear them completely and they get deposited on the lungs. And when you look at these organs, you would see those black patches. Uh, since we do transplant, I can tell you with a lot of confidence that lungs which we get from Delhi NCR or, or bigger cities have much, much more big black patches compared to the organs which we are seeing from smaller cities or the hilly regions which are much, much more pink and healthy lungs. It's equal, if not more, then at least it's equally damaging lungs. Uh, People who are non-smoker and living in polluted cities, even without their will, they are smoking six to seven cigarettes a day. Particles which deposit into the lung parenchyma, they are absolutely not reversible. Lung clearance mechanisms will not be able to pull them out. So children, you know, one, because they are still developing, the organ is still growing and they are very active. And when they are exposed to these Polluted air, of course, from a very young age, their organ starts to suffer the damage and they may not achieve those peak lung capacities what a healthy uh, uh, adult should achieve because of the polluted air they are uh, 
inhaling. Moreover, they, are, they tend to develop the respiratory ailments much earlier in their life, which may hamper their quality of life. Uh, elderly, of course, because they are frail, they have lesser immune mechanisms, so they become more symptomatic. They may have certain other comorbidities which may get worsened because of the uh, quality of air we are breathing in. Pregnant women, again, for the same reasons that, you know, they, they are more prone for infection, they are more, more prone for, for these symptoms, uh, for, for the symptoms of the diseases, so they may become more symptomatic. Uh, and all this may hamper the growth of the developing baby as well. So air pollution, I, I think not only this, but ev every individual is affected by the quality of air we breathe. First of all, the biggest thing we all can do be more aware of this problem and do our little bit. Do not rely only on legislation or governments to improve pollution. As an individual, as a family, as a society, we have to take that onus on us to reduce pollution wherever, whatever methods, the small acts we can do to clean the air, we should do that. Uh, of course, uh, what we can do to avoid is avoid getting out of our um, houses or offices during the high Pollute, uh, high traffic hours when the pollution or the air quality really gets worse. Uh, if you need to go out, wear a mask and you know, uh, preferably an N95. You know, and apart from that, we should get into a, a regular exercise regime, have healthy diets, plenty of fluids to keep the lungs as healthy as possible. And if we have an, any underlying lung disorder, please consult your doctor and take treatment according to the advice of your medical practitioner.